Hey, it's Pastor Allen. We're going to begin a new study under the theme of the journey. This particular session is on God is the light of our lives. And I want to begin with a, a passage from Psalms. It's chapter 27 and verse 1. A couple of short sentences. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's a psalm of remarkable promise that God will be the light of our lives. Almost everything's easier if the pathway is illuminated and we can see where we're going. Have you ever gone to sleep in a strange place and you wake up in the middle of the night and you got to cross the room? If there's no light, that's a pretty painful journey and usually it's at the expense of body parts. You stub a toe, you, you kick a piece of furniture somewhere across the way, you lose the joy of the Lord completely and you have to repent the next morning as you're looking at the bruises. The difference between a painful crossing and an easy transition is a little bit of light. So when God says that he will be the light of my life, I'm listening. I'm interested. He's going to illuminate a path for me. But the other side of that promise is equally powerful. It says, who do I have to be afraid of? You know, most of us want to pretend like we're never afraid, that that's stuff for children, that you're going to outgrow fear when you get to be 16 or you make some age. Well, my reality is that fear isn't something you outgrow. It goes with you into every season. I may face different fears, but fear is a part of the journey of life. So the promise that God is my stronghold, my tower, that I don't have to be afraid, he's got my attention. So I want to hand you those two promises today. We're going to say a prayer that God will illumine your path, that you'll know the way to walk in the least painful way, and that whatever may frighten you, God is your stronghold and your deliverer. Fear does not have to dominate you. You tell it to go in Jesus' name. You treat fear like it's a person. It's not welcome in your life, and you've got the authority of Jesus' name to send it away. Father, we come today in the name of Jesus. May we be open, aware of your illumination in our lives. May we walk the path you mark for us. And I thank you that you've delivered us from fear, that it has no power over us, no authority over us in Jesus' name. Where we've been afraid, you go in Jesus' name. The peace of God rules and reigns in our heart. For it's in Jesus' name we've come. Amen. God bless you.